As we emerge out of this pandemic, it's more important than ever that we know what the church is and what we're here for. The church is a people united to Jesus because of his sacrificial death and united to each other. The church is fed by the word that God has spoken and the sacraments that he's given. The church is governed by Jesus, the, the great good shepherd, who has entrusted the care of his people to under shepherds, elders. And the church must gather in the flesh. That's not just something we do, it's who we are. And in gathering, we receive all the blessings and benefits that Jesus has promised to his people. So we must gather, but we must also go. Jesus said, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I'm with you always to the end of the age. Since 2016 here at Burkhead Free Church, we have distilled that Bible truth into our vision, which is this, to grow, to be a vibrant all age church of 100 disciples. We want to grow in number and we're happy to talk about numbers because every number really represents individuals who need to know the Lord. We want to be a vibrant all age church because the church is a family with people of every age and stage. And we want to grow disciples because it's never just about winning converts. It's about together growing to be more like Jesus who has saved us. Now the Lord has given some growth in the last few years, but there is much left to do until God willing, this vision becomes a reality. And we do all have a role to play. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 6, Paul says, I planted the seed, Apollos watered it, but God has been making it grow. We know that God gives the increase, that the results are in his hands, but we do have a role in planting and watering, as Paul puts it. We sow the seed of God's word. We tell people about Jesus in our preaching, yes, but also in our day-to-day -day lives, by telling our friends and family, by inviting others to come and hear about Jesus in services and events and courses. So do you see that you are part of this vision? Well, you might ask, well, what do I do? How can I be a part? How can I play my part? Well, here are four things we could all do. Firstly, come. If we're going to make Jesus known, we must know him ourselves. The church is the place where disciples are grown. So commit to Sunday worship, morning and evening. Commit to playing a full part in the life of our church. Commit by joining a small group. Commit to prayer. Speaking of which, number two, pray. Growing new disciples is God's work. Only he can change hearts and draw people to believe the gospel. Without prayer, all of our work is fruitless. Number three, go. We must gather as a church, but we must also scatter. We come together, but we must also be sent out. Jesus said, go and make disciples. Are you praying for opportunities to share your faith and then being brave to take them? Speaking out about Jesus, making invites to friends and family to come to church and hear more of him. Number four, give. Jesus himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Regular and sacrificial giving has always been part of the Christian life. It's good for our hearts, and it resources the work of the gospel. Go to burkheadfreechurch.org forward forward slash giving for more information. So would you come, commit to the life of our church? Would you pray, asking God to intervene? Would you go and make Jesus known? And would you give? 
and all of it for the glory of God and the fame of Jesus and the fulfillment of our vision to grow to be a vibrant all-age church of a hundred disciples.